Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name's Carla if you're new here and if you're new here, where have you been? But I make videos about showing up for yourself. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing or answering questions that you guys have had specifically about the Body Slims program. So if you've never heard of Body Slims before, I'm gonna leave a video up here, which is all about it. And that is what I call the roadmap to my weight loss. It is the program that I followed that helped me to lose weight. It's not the only thing that I did to help me lose weight, but it is the, it was my blueprint to help me to lose weight. Just for transparency, I am a brand ambassador for Body Slims. However, they are not paying me or have not asked me to do this. This I'm just doing because you guys had so many questions when I recently asked you, did you have any questions about my weight loss journey? You had so many questions about Body Slims that I thought I needed to do a separate video about it. So I did answer previously, have two videos answering all of your questions. So I'll leave those linked up here if you guys would like to check it out. But as I said, in today's video, I'm answering specifically Body Slims questions that you guys have asked recently. So I'm going to hop right in and get to it. First question. Would love to know how you handled the weeks in between the official Body Slims programs. Did you keep going on your own calorie deficits and fast walking or did you pause and prove to yourself you could maintain your loss so far? What would you recommend as being the best thing to do in, for the current Body Slims program and already signed up for January? How would you handle Christmas Day? So, Anna, uh, I, my, I did four cycles of Body Slims to lose my original 183 pounds. And then I did one postpartum to lose the baby weight that I put on. The four programs I did were between January 2020 and then I finished in April 2021. But I reached maintenance halfway through there. For me personally, I decided that I did not want to wait until I lost, until... I didn't want to delay my weight loss basically and so I did everything in my power to continue on and to keep going until I reached my goal weight. So in between each cycle I, if you are familiar with Body Slims, you are given a uh, halfway or at a portion of the way through you are given a reduced calorie uh, amount, it's a very small reduction. But I continued in the main, like in the in-between parts, I continued at the higher calorie limit but I continued walking. I didn't speed walk as much. So I gave my body almost like a rest. So when I'm in a body slim cycle, and still even now in maintenance, for the 10 weeks the body slims are on, I go like full hell for leather when I'm walking. It is a full blown cardiovascular workout. And in the in-between parts, I wouldn't be as like seven days a week gung-ho on the speed. I would maybe do one or two or three days with the speed. I might do one or two days where I do an hour and a half, and then I might do one or two or three days, depending, it's nothing is rigid, where I will do a very gentle walk, listen to a podcast, listen to a um, uh, audiobook, and just kind of relax and enjoy my walk. But in between each cycle, uh, then I, I kept going, to be perfectly honest with you, I kept going. I wanted this weight off me. When I discovered that this weight was the result of nothing, like I, obviously it was my fault, but I realized why I had put it on. I wanted this weight off me. I wanted it gone and I wanted to do it in as speedy and as safe a manner as possible. And I know that you cannot control the rate or the speed at which you lose weight. So I just did everything that I could, made sure I got those inputs. If you see my last video, got those in my last video. Yes, this is my last video. Got those inputs at perfect as often as I could and gave myself kind of, I like took my foot off the brake, off the, the throttle a little bit during in the maintenance programs and then went straight back on then again during the cycle. How I handle Christmas day is I ate. I'm gonna be doing a full video on Christmas and how to handle the holidays either next week or the week after. Another uh, Body Sims question. It's quite a lengthy one, so I'm gonna try and pick out bits here. So I'm doing Body Slims. I'm not having any problems walking uh, or food, no cravings, and I'm keeping away from white foods. It's all going well, but I struggle mentally with the length of time this process is going to take. I find little joy in two to three pounds a week weight loss and not much in the non-scale victories either. I am being thankful and focused and I listen we I listen to the weekly message every day and I watch all the videos. I just can't seem to get past the fact that I'm going that to lose the approximate 70 pounds is going to take what feels like forever. 
I've already signed up to January. I feel in limbo waiting for the massive weight loss and body change so I can move on with my life. I just can't seem to appreciate the present because I'm so focused on the future and what I want to look like and feel like and mostly how I want to be. Any advice? Yes. So you're in the middle, the middle of weight loss. And I've made an entire video about the middle of weight loss because it's an absolute bitch. And it's very, very difficult to not focus on that mountain that we feel like we have to climb instead of focusing on just the next little thing. So that for me, so I'm gonna leave the video about the middle here, but I'm also going to link as well my video about breaking down your goals. And that is the thing that changed for me because I had 180 pounds to lose. So if I, well, I remember the first, I think it was week five, I can't exactly remember, but I lost a pound. And I was like, if I am going to lose one pound a week, it's going to take me 180 weeks to lose weight, which is over three years. And I don't have that kind of time. Like I'm a very, I am not a patient person. Absolutely not a patient person. It does not come naturally to me. So I felt like if I'm not going to do this fast, then, you know, I don't want to do this at all which is ridiculous because that time's going to pass anyway so you might as well do it however to get my head around that mental health that mental part that mental blockage of like oh i don't really want to do this i then broke down my weight into smaller section goals and focused purely on each of those and then rewarded myself for each when i reached each of those goals and that was the game changer for me i also would ask you to question this terminology that you've used. I'm not sure if English is your first language, so if it's not, I excuse me, but I feel that I find little joy in the two to three pounds a week. So we here are attaching the term joy to our weight. And that is a very common yet dangerous connection and little joy in the non-scale victories so perhaps as you say you've 70 pounds to lose it might be taking longer for you to experience some of the you know the the significant non-scale victories and I understand the impatience and the desire to get to that goal I completely understand but that goal and that is only a number no matter what it is on that scale that scale, that is only going to be a number and it's never going to represent your worth or your value as a human and when we attach so much joy to a number, and I remember this, what I, I started to do, I changed my relationship with the scales and I started to weigh myself daily because I was getting too much of a high or a low on a weekly basis when the scales either played ball or didn't play ball. And so I felt very, I would feel very uh, hard done by basically. And so I decided that I needed to change that and I decided to weigh myself daily. And so that took away that emotion that was based around the scales. And instead it gave me the opportunity to just see the number on the scales as data, whereas it gave me the opportunity to see the non-scale victories and the changes in my life as the real joy. And because that's what it is, that's the real joy. So I'm sure that's not you know, I, I'm just picking up on that just as an like as something maybe to note for anybody who's feeling that like extreme joy or extreme low when they're standing on the scales and it might be time to switch your relationship with the scales. Uh, I'm doing the first cycle of body slims. Did you do the three for two or just stick with the calorie allowance? I never did the three for two. Now I know that this is going to be like, ah, uh, <laughs> Jared, I'm sorry if you're watching this Jared. I personally chose never to do the three for two for body slims. And the reason that I didn't, there's a couple of reasons. First of all, that it's it, the original three for two when I was doing it isn't very like vegan, vegetarian friendly. Like you can swap out your own things for it. But also I intermittent fast. So I only eat two meals a day, not three that's in it. And so I just decided that I, I knew what I wanted to eat. When I did it first, when I when you do the first cycle of body slims, the three for two isn't mandatory. And I did so well on my first round that I decided why fix what's not broken. Um, now, there was a little bit of hubris and arrogance in that for me in that I thought I knew better. Um, if I was having a bad 
if it wasn't working for me, I think I would have decided to go for the three for two and just make it a, a, va a vegan friendly. But because I, I didn't need to because I was uh, I was still losing at the rate that I was very happy with. Like the one thing that I didn't do, I think it's the only thing that I didn't do exactly by the book with Body Slims is the three for two. Now I'm not saying not to do it. It is a very well and very thought out and very successful plan. The other reason that I didn't do it as well is because I like to eat from the abund abundance principle or volume eating so I like to eat a lot for lower calories so some of the things just seemed like it would be a little bit too low for me psychologically and so I decided not to do it. Again I'm not saying not to do it, it's a great plan if you need that kind of guidance, if you don't need that guidance you maybe you don't need it but I would always recommend following body sims to a T. That's the only thing that I didn't follow to a T. Okay these are Instagram ones now. So Body Slims seems to lean towards low carb. Did you eat bread, crackers, rice, etc.? Yes, I did. In Body Slims, they recommend that you steer clear of empty carbs and bread. Uh, so your empty carbs are like tons of pasta and things like that. Now they're not saying this is only a suggestion. And that's the beautiful thing about Body Slims is it's not like this is a sin or any of that kind of malarkey. As though they do call bread a bastard, but that's just, <laughs> that's just funny. Um, you, they recommend not eating, um, the, like carbohydrates like have a lot of calories in them for not a lot of nutritional value, depending on the carbohydrate. So the recommendation is to stick to more, you know, like foods that are gonna keep you fuller for longer, like satiate you with things like protein and with carbohydrates such as potatoes, sweet potatoes, um, veg, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, I ate rice and bread the entire way through and pizza the entire way through my weight loss. And I think that one of the ways that it really helped, one of the things that really helped me is finding ways to eat the foods that I liked in a lower calorie but high volume way of eating because I like to eat from the abundance principle. So for me, I ate rice um, and I used to get the pre-packaged, the pre like boil in the bag rice. I know not great for the environment, not the best thing, but it just really helped me with purport, with portion sizes. So when I was having a lentil dal, I would do one third of the cooked bag of rice was for me and two thirds was for my partner, Vincent. So I knew then that like it was lower, it was just giving me that like that satisfaction and I've talked about that a lot is you know not depriving yourself of the foods that you that you like but finding a way to make them work so that your weight loss that portion of time that you are in weight loss can be sustainable for you just that portion of time that you're in weight loss can be sustainable remember this is not the way you have to eat for the rest of your life now i eat rice I would also uh, bulk up the rice with cauliflower rice. So I might do a third of a bag of regular rice and then half a bag of cauliflower rice, mix them together. It looks bigger. It still gives me that feeling of having rice. It still gives me that taste because I love the taste of rice. Uh, with pasta, I used to have uh, the spinach girasoli, I think they're called. It's a spinach and white bean girasoli from Dunn stores. They're vegan pasta, vegan ready Dunn pasta, and it's really, really good. So I would have that so I would know that would give me that, and I would bulk it up with mushrooms and spin more spinach and veg and things like that, and tomatoes, and it was so good. Really, really delicious way of eating. I actually have a highlight on, um, I think it's a reel, or a highlight on my Instagram of that, of how I did that. Basically, I would bulk something up so I'm still having pasta, still getting that feeling but it would be within my calorie limit because you can eat whatever you want on Body Slim so long as it's in, in your calorie limit. That's the beauty of it and that's the most important part. You can choose to reduce your, they don't recommend you going and eating cake or cake bars or anything like that. Um, I did eat popcorn, I ate low calorie crisps, um, so I did eat carbohydrates the whole way through and still, and I love me a carbohydrate. So I wouldn't say it leans towards low carb. I think it leans better towards better carbs, if that makes sense. Did I ever go off plan on Body Slims? Um, I, I'm very cautious of saying this because I think what people might believe to be off plan and what I might believe to be off plan are two very different things. And I've spoken about the wagon and perfectionism. And I did the best that I could 
every day that I was on body slims for the 13 months. It was 13 and a half months, I think, that it took me to lose. Now, let me figure out exactly how many freaking months it was, because I always get the wrong amount. 12, 13, 14. Yeah, 14 months exactly it took me to lose weight. To lose my weight, to lose the 13 stone. The majority of the days, and I mean 99.9% .9 of those days, I did exactly what I needed to do. No, I did the best that I could do on those days at where I was. And I met myself where I was. I tried and did my best at every opportunity. I ate out very, very little. Now, there were times when I couldn't count the calories, for example and I would have a guesstimate and maybe I would go over by two or three hundred calories you know on a day but I wouldn't I didn't consider that off plan I just considered that that is where I was on that day I was out I was eating out I was enjoying myself now that doesn't mean that I did that every single day that's a very very big difference and if I ate out on one day or I was at home and we were having, you know, a big meal or I was going over to somebody's house or somebody else cooked or something like that, I wouldn't consider that falling off a wagon or getting off track or anything like that. There may, maybe there would be times when I wouldn't be able to count the calories and therefore may eat over calories, but that was okay for me. I just didn't consider that to be falling off plan or off track. Likewise with the walking, I did exactly or as best as I could every single day depending on where I was that day. So for the guts of 380, 400 days, let's say, 365 plus 40, 390 days I think it took me to lose my weight, I walked the majority of those days. However, there were days that I could not walk due to illness or injury or I was some and something just I couldn't do it there's just things beyond my control but every day that I could I did and I gave it my all the majority of the time I lost 183 pounds in less than 400 days to do that you need to be like rigid you need to be on the freaking point I'm not gonna lie and say that I wasn't, that I wasn't as good as I could be, as, as well as I could do every single day, because that's being untruthful, that would be inauthentic to me. However, there are times that I wasn't as perfect, or I wasn't as on plan as I was on other days. And, but those days where I wasn't were at a minimal and the days where I was were definitely the majority. Um, and I had to find a way to make body slims work for me and fit into my lifestyle, and I did. But I didn't strive per for perfection, I strove for as good as I, wa as I could be on that day where I was. And that's the difference, that's the most important thing because, like for example, I have not been feeling great since, actually since I did the 10k challenge for body slims on Saturday. Not because of that, but I think that that's what kind of threw me over the edge into a bit of an illness. I'm fine in the grand scheme of any illness I've ever had. This is so minimal in comparison, but I was feeling, had been feeling like a little bit off and then I came home on Saturday after doing it and I didn't feel great and we were out with friends and I got very cold in their house and like just I, I was we were out we went to, to visit friends I got really cold you know when you get a chill in you and the next day I woke up to go walking and I couldn't wake up and that for me is rare that's really rare and that's when Vincent was like you need to sleep and I was like no I don't I'm, I'll be fine and he's like and I was falling asleep so that for me that day I couldn't. So I haven't been able to do my full walk since then. So it's Saturday, Sunday, today's Tuesday. So I haven't done a full walk. I didn't walk on Sunday. I walked Monday and Tuesday, but only half my route. I did a little bit more today. I did half route yesterday. I did a little bit more today. Maybe tomorrow if I'm feeling okay, I'll do a little bit more. 
but it's meeting myself where I am at that time and being compassionate to myself and not berating myself and not judging myself and not shaming myself for wherever I am. So if you are not feeling like you are on track, the most important thing is never to throw the towel in because you've had a bad day or a bad week. It's throwing the towel in will mean that it's quitting. And quitting is the only way to ensure your result and it won't be the result that you want. Uh, it'll be the back to the start and probably more weight. So by continuing going, no matter where you are and no matter what's happened, that's the most important thing is that you keep going. Make sure that it's consistency. Believe me, it's not about motivation. I can tell you this morning, I certainly did not want to wake up. I was very happy in my nice warm bed. Thankfully it wasn't raining. Thankfully it wasn't windy. So I just got up and I did it. But there are times where it's raining, piss and rain, and it's fucking freezing. And all I want to do is stay in bed and but I know what I need to do. Okay, guys, um, I think I've answered the majority of the questions. Uh, a lot of them are the same. They're back to the how did I handle the in-between, and I've answered that. If you have any other questions, please leave them down in the comments down below. I am going to be filming a very special video. I'm not sure of the exact thing, but probably maybe a Q&A with, with a guest about body slims in the not too distant future. That'll be coming out in January. So if you have any topics about body slims or anything that you'd like answered, please leave them down in the comments down below. If you've made it to the end of this video, please leave me a purple heart for body slims down in the comments down below. Let me know if you have any other questions or if there's any other videos that you would like me to make. I did mention this, I think, on a post, but I'm just gonna let you know here as well that for coming up to Christmas, I'm only going to be doing one sit down video a week uh, just things are just a little bit nuts at the moment but I have at least two more videos scheduled for um, Christmas and then I'll see you all in January where things will be new year very exciting times lots of things happening so I'll love you and leave you and I will talk to you all very soon bye guys I will not be showing the bra the whole way through this video please